Hey, what's up guys? This is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com and I'm here at the A Data Suite, uh, CES 2013, and I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff that they have on display here. So the first thing that they have is this AE400 Dash Drive Air. So um, basically what this does is it creates like a Wi-Fi hotspot for you. So you can connect up to 10 devices and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty portable little product here. It takes an SD card, so um, it doesn't have any sort of internal memory or anything like that, but it does have an SD card for you, uh, SD card slot for you, so you can kind of put any SD card you want in there. Creates a wireless hotspot. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, which they're telling me does about 10 to 20 hours, depending on uh, how much uh, how much battery you draw, of course. And um, in here, it looks like you can also charge the device through this port right here, and you can also connect an external hard drive. Um, it looks like a USB 2.0 port only. Um, as you can see here, they do have a little um, kind of demo here showing off some of the features. So they got Dash Drive Air here. And uh, if you fire this up, this is an app that you can download uh, probably at the Apple uh, App Store. And uh, it gives you pretty much anything you'll need to, you know, check out all the files on your, on your um, iPad. You can watch some video. Um, and you can also upload files from your local iPad or, you know, iPhone or, or anything like that. So um, works with, it looks like it works with uh, iOS, Android, uh, Windows, Linux, all that stuff. So pretty much any platform. Uh, over here, we got the AE800 dash drive air. It's a USB 3.0 uh, external hard drive. Um, looks like it can support up to eight devices. So um, here it is right here. It's pretty similar to the AE400, except this thing actually has an internal hard drive inside. Um, I believe it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's got um, charging right here, and, as well as USB 3.0. So for extra fast um, uh, transfers, if if you need, you know, if if you want just to use a local uh, transfer. So um, next thing we have over here is the. Uh, a couple of NGFF form factor SSDs. So NGFF, as you guys know, uh, next generation form factor probably is going to be implemented on, you know, next generation uh, Ultrabooks as they are, you know, very small, very thin. Um, these two products, um, I'm told, will be coming with the release of Haswell. So um, if you want to take a look over here, this is the performance that they have on the Sandforce-based um, NGFF SSD. So as you can see, it's got, you know, the regular Sandforce uh, transfer rates, 500 megabytes, fi 500, you know, 46, 555 uh, megabytes per second uh, reads, and then 510, 20 megabyte per second writes. So um, that's their demo right there. Uh, it looks like this top one right here is using these LSI Sandforce SF2281 uh, controller, and the one down here is using a JMicron controller, but um, it's a lot smaller, so it only supports um, up to 64 gigabytes. So definitely, it's going to be something that's used as a more of a caching drive than uh, you know your full-on um, you know SSD main drive, of course. Uh, finally, over here we've got a demo of their memory, and this is. Um, the ADATA XPG Gaming Series uh, 2.0. This looks like the 2600 megahertz uh, DDR3. So um, this pretty much is something that they released a little bit, you know, maybe last month. But um, looks like they've got you know some pretty cool looking um, heat sinks on here. Um, definitely, you know, maybe a little high, but um, cool looking heat sinks. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, finally, they also have another cool little product on display. Um, Thunderbolt, as you all know, very high speed interface. And uh, they've got their SE900. No details on this yet, but they do have, you know, just kind of like an empty shell kind of prototype prototype on design, but SE900 Dash Drive Elite uh, Thunderbolt product, and it's going to be um, coming with an SSD in it, so it could definitely use the, uh, you know, full potential of Thunderbolt. But um, that is pretty much all I see over here at the uh, ADATA booth, or at least that they're introducing here at CES 2013. So be sure to check back in for more videos uh, for more CES 2013 coverage.